in this ratio analysis chapter so the pv ratio formula is contribution divided by sales into 100 so you all can find out contribution since in the question the contribution is not directly given to us we have to find it out you can find out contribution either by drawing the format but ideally it is not right to draw the format but it is not wrong also it will just consume two minutes but i'll show you a shortcut how to find out contribution question number 14 In question number 14, how we will find out contribution as operating leverage is equal to contribution just a second contribution divided by EBIT. So we can also write it like this contribution divided by contribution since we don't have EBIT also in the question we have the fixed cost in the question they have provided us with the fixed cost and they have provided us with the operating leverage see operating leverage is how much 1.4 and fixed 1.4 is equal to contribution I will write country only country and minus fixed cost is how much fixed cost excluding interest is equal to 2 lakh 4 thousand ok so therefore 1.4 into country minus 2 lakh 4 thousand is equal to country therefore 1.4 country minus 2 lakh 4 thousand into 1.4 is equal to 2 lakh 85 thousand 600 is equal to country therefore 1.4 country minus country is equal to 2 lakh 85 thousand 600 therefore this country is equal to one country okay so 0.4 country is equal to 2 lakh 85600 therefore contribution is equal to 2 lakh 85600 divided by 0.4 is equal to 7 lakh 14000 so indirectly we got our contribution equal to 7 lakh 14000 so therefore pv ratio is equal to contribution upon sales into 100 so therefore contribution is 7 lakh 14 thousand divided by sales is how much 30 lakhs they have provided us in the question into 100 so therefore 7 lakh 14 thousand divided by 3 lakh 30 lakhs into 100 comes to 23.8 percent so PV ratio is equal to 23.8% so our second part is also completed third part what they have asked in the required is if the company belongs to an industry whose asset turnover is 1.5 does it have a high or low asset leverage so we'll leave it right now because it is not important such questions are not asked now we'll move on to the fourth part which is important which is very important at what level of sales the EBIT of the company will be equal to zero so we will do that first in fourth part EBIT sorry EBT earning before tax is equal to zero they are saying so what will be the what will be the sales that means level of sales okay so how we'll find this out how we'll find this out we'll find it out this how see in combined leverage the in combined leverage the EBIT comes when the formula is contribution upon EBIT EBT I'm sorry I'm just getting carried away see over here EBIT comes so that means we can find out the changes in the level of sales with with the help of degree of combined leverage since we are having the combined leverage it is already provided to us in the question combined leverage is equal to 2.8 so we need to just write changes in EBT divided by 
changes in sales i hope this is quite clear so therefore 2.8 is equal to changes in place of changes in ebit you have to write 100 because the ebit is going to decrease by 100 percent so it is going to decrease by 100 percent that means it is going to be zero you can't write zero over here you have to write the changes in ebit so the change in ebit is 100 percent it is not 100 percent increase it is 100 percent decrease you have to write this symbol for your understanding and you have to find out the changes in sales therefore changes in sales is equal to 100 divided by 2.8 which is equal to 100 divided by 2.8 is equal to 335.71 percent okay so that means that if EBT is going to fall by 100% then sales is going to fall by 35.71% since the sales is rupees 30 lakhs and if we desire that EBT should be 0 then the sales should be 30 lakhs minus 35.71 percent which is equal to 30 lakhs minus 30 lakhs into 35.71 percent which is equal to Nineteen lakh twenty-eight thousand fifty rupees. So that means that if we want our EBT to be zero, our sales should be nineteen lakh twenty-eight thousand five seventy-one. Rupees nineteen lakh twenty-eight thousand five seventy-one. I hope your concepts are clear now. If I have said instead of EBT EBIT, please ignore that because this is very irritating because whenever I try to say EBT I say by mistake EBIT but I have written EBT I have written it properly so please do not get confused because it, my tongue is getting slipped so firstly I will want you all to pause the video and copy this part and copy the fourth part which is very important here you write hundred percent this down is equal to decrease I hope you all have understood this I hope you all have copied this much I hope this was quite simple to understand because already when we were solving the when I was teaching you all the theory of combined leverage that time I have already illustrated this type of sum okay if not then over here I have illustrated there is no problem it is very simple I hope you all have understood the changes in sale is 30.35.71 it is decreased okay so sales will get decreased so see you can see it over here the sales have decreased from 30 lakhs to 19 lakh 28,571 hope this is quite clear this was the type of tough and difficult sum which would come in exam one more sum will solve and after that this chapter is going to get winded up i hope this is quite clear